It's all about fishing. It's all about hunting. It's all about the great outdoors. And it's all about Outdoors with Captain Roy and Cheryl. Good morning and welcome aboard. I'm Captain Roy. And I'm Cheryl Little and we're at the Bear Creek Lodge. I hope our director liked that one. They'll make you do it again. I think so. <laughs> we did good. Hey, I want to say a special good morning to Charlie Thomas. Ran into Charlie the other day. Super nice fellow and says he watches the show. So good morning, Charlie. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, Cheryl, I, I, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. You've been running on the show a big old speckled trout that you filmed feeding on the bottom is what it looked like she's doing. It looked like a big female speckled trout. Yeah. In the world <laughs> did you get that close to that big fish to film her? Well, actually I had caught her and uh, by the time I actually landed her, she was pretty worn out and tired and I did release her and some, I was in shallow water weight fishing and I happened to have my GoPro camera and when I released her, uh, she just apparently wanted to be a superstar. <laughs> and she just cooperated perfectly and was real curious with Isn't the camera. Right? Went right up to the lens and turned and gave a nice little uh, tail fan at the end. And so, yeah. And she was in real shallow water. <laughs> yep, she was in real shallow water when I caught her, too. Yep. <laughs> well, that, I, I know how you did it, but I wouldn't have never known. She, I was so used to see that thing out there. She did like all of my for, so throw them out, they take off. Yep, she was kind of wore out. But uh, the GoPro, I love the camera. I got it from Brad over at Sun Jammers. He's, he carries those, so go by and get you one. They're fun, fun to play with. Now, we did, I did catch uh, Guy Jody Wells this yeah. morning, uh, last night. Yep, and he gave, uh, Jody gave a good fishing report. He said that the brim and shellcracker are still on the beds, and lots of catfish are feeding on the brim on the beds. <laughs> He said the bass fishing has slowed. The best bite is real early and real late in the afternoon on topwater baits. And that's our fishing report on Lake Seminole. Mm -hmm. And when, by the way, get your phones ready because we are going to be giving away some BB bugs today. I think it is about 10 in this package, Cheryl. And uh, that's what you saw uh, my brother and I fishing with last week. Uh, I hope y'all y'all enjoyed that. But uh, that's what we're going to be giving away. Yep. Get, get, your, get your phones ready. And hey, I went fishing. Um, this has kind of been in the archives of my camera. We've had so much uh, that we haven't shown it, but uh, Jerry McBride, last time he was down here, we went fishing over in St. Joe Bay. Had an awesome day. Uh, he caught 25 redfish and, and a couple of trout. Um, I caught two redfish, but that's the way it is when I fish with Jerry. He always outfishes me. Um, I had to actually sneak off the water real early. I was only out for a few hours, so I had to leave, uh, leave the redfish just biting. And I wish I would have uh, been there because he ended up getting into some really large redfish that I didn't get on tape. But I did get a little bit of tape with Jerry. And uh, so you want to go fishing in St. Joe Bay? Did you uh, get out of the boat and wade? We did, of course. I think the entire morning, that's all we did was wade fish. And he, he had all those fish, and I think he was off the water before 1 o'clock. Is that right? I think I got off the water around 11, but we had a great day. Cheryl gets out there and weighs barefoot in that bay. Actually, I had waders on that day. Did you? When he comes down, he brings some pink waders. Why Jerry has pink waders, I'm not real sure, but um, I appreciate him letting me use them when he's here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's take a break and we'll be right, we'll, we'll go fishing. Go fishing. Bayou George Hardware, located on Highway 2301, first store on the right. We carry a complete line of FRM feed, chicken feed, goat feed, worm feed, horse feed, cattle feed, dog food, catfish food, floating or sinking. A complete line. If you need a key made, we can make it. We also have a full line of plumbing supplies, water heaters, and water pumps. And don't forget, we also carry groceries. And both locations carry ethanol-free gas. Bayou George Hardware. 
located on Highway 2301, first store on the right. Brooks Bait and Tackle, we're located at 6910 Highway 22 in Callaway. We've expanded our saltwater tackle. DOAs, gulps, trout trailers, bomber king rigs. We've increased our zoom selection. We have over 55 different brim poles to choose from. We have the biggest selection of H&H &H spinners in town. We have earthworms, redworms, green worms, and wigglers. We have live shrimp. We have ice by the scoop, by the bag, $1.25 a bag, 10 pound bag, $1.25 a bucket, or 25 cents a scoop. And most importantly, we offer non-ethanol gas. Brooks Bait and Tackle is your one-stop shop. When you think of a successful hunting season, two things come to mind. Browning and CNG Sporting Goods. Browning is the best there is, and CNG Sporting Goods is your factory direct full line Browning dealer. CNG stocks Browning guns, camo, knives, scopes, gun safes, bows, and much more, including hunting and fishing license. Look over the new Browning BAR camo short track and X Bolt rifles. Why pay good money for anything less than a Browning? Browning and CNG, the best there is. Home of the experts. I tell you what I like about corn. I like the food, I like the price, I like the quality, I like the quantity of it. But what I like most about corn, steak, and eggs is I like that friendly atmosphere that I always find when I dine out there. It's owned and operated by Linda and Willard Corn. They are the original, and they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and their breakfast out of this world. And my favorite is the world famous Corn Heavenly Hat. Corn, steak, and egg, 804 South Tyndall Parkway. Words of wisdom, Cheryl, because uh, the words of wisdom is that I caught the first uh, fish for the day. Yes, you have. Yes, pretty on the Arkansas Globe, of course, my favorite, one of my favorites. Keep talking, Cheryl. This is all good for it's DOA. St. Joe Bay. Oh no, 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 not that good. <laughs> With Jerry McBride. No, that's not good. Either. All right, Jerry, I'm okay. one up on you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll start fishing now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right. Man, it's gorgeous clear water, nice hard bottom. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, and thanks for the pink waders. I appreciate it. That's one thing I enjoy when you come fishing is the pink waders. Yeah, I hate to I hate to loan them to you, Cheryl, because I look so stinking good in them personally. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's I don't mind sharing. Uh, good day. Woohoo! Oh, it's just great, Cheryl. Come out here and drive 450 miles for you to put me on a big trout, and all we catch is redfish. This is not good. <laughs> Hey, I like the redfish. They fight too hard. They're making my arm sore. This is a little guy. He's already fighting better than a big trout. Aren't you? Man, that's a five and a half inch jerk bait. He slurped it right now. He was hungry. Nice. Little guy. He's not that small. He is smaller than mine, though. Oh, he is definitely way... Yours would eat this one, Cheryl. I mean, I'm amazed I got this one in past that giant that you caught already. So what are you throwing? Wow. I am throwing a five and a half inch stark naked. That's the 420 color, by the way. Because your pinfish ate the 308 tail on. Yeah, they do have some pinfish down here. Start naked. Now, what size is that? What size what? Is this, that jerk bait? This is the 5.5. Rigged weedless. Why don't you get back on the phone again? I seem to always get a fish when you get on the phone. <laughs> There's another. Good, I had it rolling too. And it starts. That was your very next cast. Well, like I said, you put me on some stupid fish here, Cheryl. So this one's probably a little better. This one may be more like that one you caught. I sure would like to see a great big trout. Oh, I got that on film. Oh. <laughs> Don't have to worry about releasing. I can edit. Edit? I didn't say anything bad for a change. <laughs> I was careful. I said, oh, that's that's not a bad word, Cheryl. <laughs> really, it isn't. Oh, that was not a pinfish there. <laughs> 
My red jacket show up really good in it this. It does. Uh, I like your Hobie red jacket. I tell you, it's a comfortable jacket too. It's not bad, yeah. It's I love bad. that Hobie spray jacket. You can get it at Sun Jammers Water Sports. Hey, did we come out here to advertise or catch fish? <laughs> we had to throw a Sun Jammers Water Sports in there. We love Brad. Here, go up and splash it. <laughs> yeah, splash my camera. Just what I want. Isn't it? You know, back home, I fish by myself a lot, so I, I you don't have die many... for this clear water to shoot the fish in, because, you know, nobody's there to shoot pictures of me, <laughs> and there's nobody there to, for me to shoot pictures of, but so this clear water just makes it so nice to shoot shots of these fish. Another one that's not as big as yours. That's right. That's why he... Do you want to steal? But it's a redfish. And so it is I, pretty. So. I guess you don't want a picture. There he is. That felt like a better fish. First cast with a 407. Now tell me the 407, what color is that? 407 is the silver mullet. It's a uh, dark green back with a, a lot of holographic flake in the belly. And uh, just an excellent, you know, mullet imitator. I wish you'd put me on a school of big trout like this, Cheryl. <laughs> well, the redfish are definitely here. This is great. He's not as big as I thought he was. He's, he's just determined. Oh, you want to steal that? that? That is. That's the 407 silver mullet with a little hot head on it. Okay. And uh, just to give it a pair of eyes, I don't think these fish care, frankly, this morning, but that one was already rigged up, so. But uh, a little weedless, with weedless the hot rig, head. which with a hot head, so I can. I actually rigged that up for those big trout if they were moving up shallow into the grass today, um, just so I could work it like a you know a mullet coming through, and uh, you could throw it into anything. Sinks got a nice slow sink rate. Looks great in the water. You can walk the dog with it. <laughs> he just ran into me. He's sorry. He'll, he'll get a written <laughs> apology from his attorney, I'm sure. But it's a, it's just a real nice color, and you can you can walk the dog, twitch it any way you want to do it. Ow. This may be a little trout, or it could be another little redfish. That's a <laughs> Arkansas glow, it just never fails for redfish. I don't care how you rig it. Oh. Hey, don't splash my lens, Mr. Redfish. DOA Lures, the unfair advantage. Mark Nichols molded the world's first plastic shrimp at his kitchen table in 1989. Today, DOA Lures offers four sizes of shrimp in 54 colors, along with a complete line of lures for both inshore and offshore use, as well as freshwater. And what I like the most about DOA Lures, they are American made. DOA Lures available at your local tackle retailer or go online at doalures.com. Whether it's removing dangerous trees or planting new ones, Gulf Coast Tree Specialists can help you with all your tree care needs. Sometimes your tree problems are too big for you to handle. Even if it seems impossible to remove your tree, our licensed, bonded, and insured professionals can always find a way for a fair and reasonable price. We can also remove large and unusual items from your property. And our certified arborists can analyze root problems and evaluate structural issues. At Gulf Coast Tree Specialists, we would like to thank you for your continued support and service over the past 20 years and look forward to serving you in the future.
Panama City Gastroenterology specializes in colon cancer screening, gastroesophageal reflux disease, all aspects liver disease, and we do conduct clinical trials. We provide care in timely fashion using our extensive experience and are mindful of healthcare costs. Look, if you're 50 years old and haven't had a colon off in the last five years, you need to give Doc a call. For the latest medical news, join us today on Facebook. Panama City Gastroenterology. When I bought this Kubota tractor about 30 years ago from sweet old Bob down at Soil Tractor, he told me that in the long run, it would pay for itself. And you know something? He was right. The tractor's not only paid for itself, but it's also paid for 160 acres of land that I now hunt and enjoy. When you buy a Kubota, don't worry about wearing it out. Worry about who you're going to leave it to after you're gone. At Soil Tractor, we only sell commercial grade equipment for professionals and serious landowners. Cheryl, you went fishing with your beautiful niece. I did. She had a blast. I think she's hooked on fishing and let's go fishing with Corinne. Hi, Corinne. It's the first one I caught today <laughs> and in a real long time. I tell you, that's a nice trout. Yeah? He's yeah. nice and sticky. Very nice. All right, you gonna let him go? Let me. That's a female. Really? Looks How like can it. You tell? She, it looks like she's kind of got a big belly. Maybe big she just belly. got through spawning, and she's kind of flat now. She's pretty, Korean. She is. I'm sorry. All right, Delaney. What would Delaney say? She'd say, it's, "Look at his snaggle tooth. <laughs> Sna -sna snaggle tooth." <laughs> All right. Should I let go? Yep. Fishing a. Ledge of grass and sand, Dark. and then the trout, the the trout um, hide in the grass, and then they they get all the fish in the sand, all the bait fish, and they can see them better. And something else. You're fishing, <laughs> fishing with the DOA Arkansas Glow. Oh, and today I'm fishing with the DOA Arkansas Glow. Can you see that? Nice. Oh, I got it through the eyeball, Aunt Cheryl. It's okay, it's okay, dude. Come on. Why can't I reach this? Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, Aunt Cheryl, I really blinded him. But I caught a fishy and it has one snaggle tooth. We're using a DOA Arkansas Glow Lure. Man, he was really in there. It's okay. Oh, I think I got it through the lens of his eye, too. Ah! Here we go. But that's a speckled trout with one snaggle tooth and one bad eye. Ready to go, buddy? Yeah, he said yeah. Did you see him nod? <laughs> Good fishy. Only got one snaggle too. Ready to go? He got me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna step on something real. I got me a red fish. Is this your first red, Corinne? Yeah! Look at that spot on his tail, too. And he swallowed up our DOA lure. What was it again? <laughs> Darn it. Arkansas, Arkansas glow. glow. Nice red. Look at him. Oh my gosh. He is gorgeous. Can you get the hook out? It's, it's okay. Aunt Cheryl to the rescue. Oh man, it got in there again. I almost had it out. Yeah, just let him go. It doesn't matter. Sure? Yeah. We let your baby go? Yeah! Not the 
camera woman. Pretty. Arkansas glow. Yeehaw! <laughs> I thought you were going to outfish me today. And really, you technically did outfish me today. Oh my gosh. We got to go back and catch some another one, a bigger one. Send them back and let them grow up. I don't know, Corinne. I think this one's bigger. Nice red. <laughs> I got the big fish award. You got the most fish award. Isn't he beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Come on, Arkansas glow. Beautiful day. Oh, so what do you think? Should we let him go? Even though he's big enough to keep, I think we'll let him go. Fish huggers. Awesome. Was fun, wasn't it? That was the best. That was like the coolest thing since like forever. I don't know. That was so much fun. Now, uh, Corinne, where do you go to college at? I go to UNC Asheville up in North Carolina. All right, what are you studying? Environmental studies, so lots of cool stuff like this, outside stuff, animals and critters and all sorts of good stuff. It was a special day, thank you so much. Thank I'd, you. I have to say this is probably one of my most favorite fishing trips. I think so too, except for the bugs. Man, you aren't kidding. Let's pack up and go to the house. Good deal. Hi, this is Nate with Mexico Beach Marina, formerly Marquardt's Marina here in beautiful Mexico Beach. Remember, we're a key dealer for Yamaha Outboards as well as a five-star certified service department and are proud now to be a new dealer for Edgewater Power Boats. Our marina store still offers all your latest tackle, live bait, bulk ice, ethanol free fuel, and slip rentals. And our beach store has everything you need for your day at the beach with Guy Harvey, Salt Life, Sperry, Top Cider, Hook and Tackle, Bimini Bay, and much more. So come on down and see us in Mexico Beach. I remember those days. Don't let the price of gas keep you off the water. Sunjammer Water Sports, located one block north of Back Beach Road on Highway 79. No one can seem to get Georgia to reveal her secret to catching those big redfish. So we placed a series of hidden cameras on Stan and Georgia's boat to try to find out her secret. Stan, this looks like a good spot right here. So you think this is a spot? I know it is. Okay, well I'll get the trolling motor ready and we'll get started. There he is, Stan! <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, baby. Check all the stuff in your pantry. If you don't see any stand stuff, it ain't complete. Hi folks, I'm BJ with BJ's Marine. This has been a family owned and operated business for over 20 years. We pride ourselves in the sales and service of Nissan and Tahatsu outboards. At BJ's we have factory trained and authorized technicians for Nissan and Tahatsu. We also repair most any make or model outboard. Call or come by BJ's Marine Service at 1317 Transmitter Road. And folks, we really do appreciate your business.
sure looked like a cousin mm -hmm. and had a had a good fishing trip. I tell you, she caught some beautiful fish, and a beautiful girl caught them, by the way. She is a pretty girl, absolutely. Yeah, we got into the reds and uh, and the trout, and she can't wait to go again. She was like, Aunt Cheryl, when are we going to go fishing again? So we had a good time. And uh, Cheryl, you got a picture there. I do. Show. Yeah, this is from Bob Daniel, and Bob caught a nice 23-inch red and a 22-inch trout. And his brother also caught some keeper trout, too, and they caught flounder. They had a great day on the water. He said that all of his fish were caught on the Arkansas Glow DOA. He said, you sure do know how to recommend lures. I had ran into Bob, and actually we fished one day, and um, I gave him some Arkansas glows to try out and i'm glad bob liked them don't be giving away our secrets sure <laughs> <laughs> it is that's that's probably it's, one, it's a it, consistent we fit well we fish with it now yeah. they bite the other bait and uh, you're going to see me in a, uh, next week i think catching a big red fish on a root beer oh okay so, the 411 yeah so that's that'd be next week i'll be fishing with uh, john john fall john fall that's good to see john people. back on the boat again and folks be sure and uh, and visit our website there's a lot of information on there for fishermen and uh way to go there is captain Roy. Roy mm -hmm. and real simple and next week we'll be drawing for three big trips. That's right. So you definitely want to get your entries in. And to get your entries in, you go to outdoors at captainroy.com. And uh, our call. That's right. Or call. 722-9382. Sure, we're going to be giving away a canoe trip for two people down here can find a creek, a, fi a fishing trip with guys Jody Wells mm -hmm. and Lake Seminole, and a fishing trip for two people, everything furnished with Captain Roy. If yeah. you want to go, we'll have a big time, I guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. yep. So get your extras in now. That's right. So we'll be giving them away. And get your telephones ready because we're fixing to give away some BB bugs. And also... Last um, week, who was the winner? Here oh, we there we go. That was Chad Mack. Congratulations, Chad Mack. He won some uh, hats and some stand stuff and some decals. So the number to call right the now? BB Bugs is... Call 625-3273 to win some BB Bugs. And uh, give us a buzz and uh, hopefully you'll be the winner. And we've got to get out of we here, We do. Sheriff. We're out of time Thank y'all for watching the show. Remember, tune in next Saturday at the same time. And remember to always... Try to be as good to him as he is to you. Good day. Okay, folks, it's time to wrap it up and go to the barn.